So you guys must have seen this clip. If you haven't, take a look at it. It's our very professional and very genuine Deputy Prime Minister, Christian Freeland, our favorite politician in this country. I appreciate that consideration, Hans Peter, but as we were discussing, I grew up on a farm and there are no people in the world who work harder than farmers. And so I'm so happy to be here. Uh, on a farm, on a vineyard, to learn about the wonderful work that is being done here every day. And I got a little bit of a lesson in running a vineyard. I learned a little bit about what you do with the vines and stuff. I'd, I'd like to spend a little more time seeing how you run your tractors. Um, so that was wonderful. And no, really, <laughs> I'm very interested. It was great and just great to be here. Um, so let me start by acknowledging that we are gathered in Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. There are no people in the world who work harder than farmers. I grew up on a farm. I'm just like one of you. Doesn't she sound so genuine, guys? Doesn't she sound just like one of us? Just like one of the farmers that runs this country? There's the food that you like. Be very tight. There you go. Kind of like you know me. She says all of that while behind her cheeky little grin, she knows full well what she is about to do to Canadian farmers. She knows full well that her emissions reduction scheme, which will cripple Canadian farmers, shrink crop yields and make the slimmest margins even slimmer, making farmers work even harder. She knows exactly what she's about to do, and she is just trying to basically tell you and tell all of us straight to our face how much contempt she has. It's like telling us, it's like looking and talking down to children. Oh, you guys work so hard. We're just going to make your lives 10 times harder. How about that? I mean, just unbelievable stuff. So in my opinion, I don't know what is worse, the front or the back end of that clip. They're both equally horrendous. At the front end, she puts on this whole fake song and dance about how she's just like one of us. She's just like a farmer. You know, she grew up on a farm and, and likes to see how they, you know, work the vines and stuff, as she says. Then at the end of the clip, she says that she'd like to spend more time learning how this farmer runs his tractors, because of course she does. And then she tops off that clip with a cheeky little land acknowledgement, just to, as a cherry on top to confirm that actually the land that you, Mr. Farmer, have been working over for generations, the land that you've put blood, sweat, and tears into, no, it's not actually your land. You see, it's the unceded territory of some tribe. It's actually their land. Just so you know, it's not your land, farmer. It's indigenous land that is supposedly unseated, which we all know is absolutely bogus. You know, the freezing of the bank accounts, the authoritarian policies, the awful economic policies you've enacted as the finance minister, you know, I think we'll, we'll all let that go because you, you've shown to us really that you're just like one of us, Freeland. You're just a farmer. You're just a, you're just a farmer at heart, a true Westerner, aren't you? <laughs>